So I'm going to make this key out of aluminum. Um, so then I could try anodizing. So I'm going to need some scrap aluminum. I don't think two ingots should do. Should definitely be more than enough. And um, th these are pure aluminum. So I'm going to have to use. I'm going to have to use some stuff I ordered on eBay. Elemental silicon. So I'm going to weigh this up to make silicon aluminum uh, into a nice pourable alloy. Use uh, 90, 95 percent aluminum and 5 percent silicon by weight. So this is a metalloid. It's kind of metallic. It feels kind of light. But uh, if you look at it, it's kind of more like uh, charcoal than anything. It's just shinier. Uh, it can mess up your lungs too, so be sure to use uh, a mask when you're messing with these, especially if you're making it into dust, because you're going to have to dissolve this in molten aluminum. Now we're going to go by grams. We have uh, 292 grams right here. So adding about 10% silicon, I'm going to need what? Um, like three, 330, 320. So what's that make it? 314, that's eh, about roughly 9, 10%. So we're going to go with that. Um, we're going to dissolve the aluminum and silicone together sit for about 45 minutes I'm not sure if that's enough time or not for the silicon to dissolve but oh my god it's so hot let's see if we could drop this down a bit Started. See, he So my pores here, my first one was some Legos, came out pretty good. The second one is this key. Then I had some more for this leftover ingot. Not too bad. Too bad with silicon the first time. I'm curious to see how, um, because I've been using this mold to pour the solid aluminum in, and I'm really curious to compare the type of um, mold this new one with silicon does, whether the edges are sharper, whether it's better. Um, I'm going to compare. Yeah, so this one on the right here is the pure can aluminum. Well, the discoloration is from the mold. Um, and this one here is silicone aluminum with a 9 to 10% silicon. Um, slight color difference. This one seems more glossy. And this one seems like a bit more matte. Um, Details. Uh, this one seems better on the details a bit, but I mean they both seem kind of shitty still. I'm not sure if um, it has to do with like degassing, something I could probably start looking into. But um, I mean I don't see any big giant cavities in either one of these. So, but uh, noticeably. Um, the cooling 
it, it's a lot more exaggerated here where it starts to solidify and it starts to shrink. And the last part that remains liquid gets sucked out and to fill in the solidifying gaps. Uh, you don't see it as much, but you could kind of still see the little line up here um, as it's cooling down. But um, yeah, it's not as exaggerated as a pure aluminum. So I guess for you know shrinking purposes, the silicon does help. Um, it does make it shinier too.